Saturday morning. And of course, while most bunnies sleep in, the dumb bunnies sleep out. <laughs> and next door, Sue and Bill Uppity get ready for an overnight trip to the Bunny Mountains. I'll take my velvet dinner jacket and my velour tux. Perfect. You never know what other bunnies will be wearing this time of year. Well, we're all ready to go. What's wrong, Prissy? Did you spill carrot juice on my brand new custom design sofa? No, I just wish you hadn't asked Mrs. Bristley to look after me. I'd rather have somebody fun babysit, like the dumb bunnies. Actually, you were right the first time, Sue. We're not a sofa. We're the dumb bunnies. <laughs> that's my boy. And that's your sofa. The one with the big orange stain. My sofa! Now you've got it. And like it or not, she's also got the dumb bunnies. I'm sure the last thing Sue Uppity wanted this morning was an unexpected visit from the dumb bunnies. Of course, the second last thing she wanted was a big carrot juice stain on her designer sofa. My sofa! Right again, Sue! I wonder what's keeping Mrs. Bristley. She's late. Oh no, she was early. We met her on the front step. Mrs. Bristley? <laughs> We sent her home. What? But she was going to babysit Prissy. <laughs> exactly. We couldn't let that happen. Prissy is too small to have a full-grown bunny like Mrs. Bristley sit on her. Oh, it took us months to get a reservation at the Hordy Toy Hotel. Who are we going to find to replace Mrs. Bristley on such short notice? <laughs> Oh. Bye! Have fun! Goodbye, dear! See you tomorrow! Take good care of Prissy! Okie dokie! <laughs> Watch the house while we're gone! Okie dokie, too! And remember, my antique china is for special occasions only! Oh! <laughs> Okie dokie, three! Oh, it was so nice of Sue to offer to let us use her antique china for a special occasion. Supper for breakfast is always special. And now we need lots of tomato juice. No, thank you. I'm full. <laughs> well, it's not for us, dear. It's for the sofa. There's nothing better to get rid of nasty carrot juice stains. <laughs> Um, I think tomato juice is for removing skunk smells, not carrot stains. Uh-oh! You know what that means! <laughs> we'll need skunks to get rid of the tomato juice! It's still there. No problem! Sam, 
hand is always very useful for soaking up spills. Maybe we should go outside. Whoops! That's right. We're supposed to watch the house. And of course, when the dumb bunnies watch a house, they really watch a house. Aren't you getting tired? Well, Prissy, it's not easy, but if you work hard and have faith in yourself, it's surprising what you can accomplish. You know, that reminds me of our cousin Smarty. Yippee! Do you know what this means? It's time for the Dumb Money Family Album! Our cousin Smarty was always the smartest bunny in his class. He was so smart, he even found a cure for the bunny cold. <laughs> but there was one thing Smarty wanted more than anything else. What was that? <laughs> well, what else? To be dumb. Alas, I fear I shall never achieve such a lofty goal. Other smart bunnies told him it was impossible. Even Professor Bunsen thought it was hopeless. I'm sorry, Smarty. You're just too smart. Oh, it's a good thing Papa was nearby to encourage him. You can do it, Smarty. Do you really postulate that such an accomplishment is attainable? You're never too smart to be dumb. If you really want to be, just repeat after me. Duh! Uh, uh, er, duh? Very good! D D -O? Even better! Thanks to Papa's encouraging words, Smarty kept at it. And soon he was about as dumb as dumb gets. I think I've got it! Got what? Duh! I don't know! Hooray! I knew you wouldn't! Thanks for believing in me, Papa! That's our cousin. He's the smartest dumb bunny in the world. It's a lovely night for house watching, isn't it? Stars and the dumb bunnies aren't the only things out this evening. At this very moment, Bunnyville's police chief, Officer Moody McBunny, is hot on the trail of a mysterious prowler. Kitty litter! Just as I suspected! There's a wee cat burglar lurking about! Ah! Aha! I've got you! Oh, God! Dumb Bunny! What are you doing out here? We're watching the uppity's house while they're on vacation. Sounds reasonable, I suppose. But you best do something about that window. 90% of all cat burglars break in through an open window, you know. They can't break in through a window if there aren't any windows. That's my papa. Oh, won't Sue and Bill be surprised? Then again, since Sue and Bill know the dumb bunny so well, they probably won't be surprised at all. It's midnight, and every bunny is tucked safely in bed. Well, almost every bunny. Ow! Oh, roses. Cats love to clean, but this kitty's idea of cleaning out a house is to steal everything in it. She's a cat burglar. Hello. Is this going to be totally easy or what? I can clean out the whole house. <laughs> and on my very first night as a... Whoa! Oh! oh! Bummer, you, like, caught me? You're welcome! We heard what you said about cleaning out the whole house. Okay, okay, like, I give up. I, I never wanted to do this for a living anyway, but it's like the only job a no-talent cat like me can get. And I'm so totally all thumbs, I can't even get that right. <laughs> Oh, don't give up, dear. The uppity's house is a tad messy, but if you put your mind to it, I'm sure you can get the job done. Mama's right, but you should use the front door next time. Wouldn't want any bunny thinking you're a cat burglar. Hi. 
Hi, we're the dumb bunnies. No, duh. I'm Felony. Whoa, this place is a dump. Oh, but there are some swank pieces. Awesome china. Oh, totally posh sofa. It's too bad about the stain. Way to go, Felony. Wow, you're quite the cleaning professional. But, um, well, you see, I wasn't really planning on cleaning the stuff. I was just gonna, like, take it, you know? Uh-huh! Now I know what's going on! <laughs> all right, all right, I... Melanie has to take everything to her special cleaning plant. Oh, well, why don't we help you load up? <laughs> Wild! I'll get my van. Won't Sue and Bill be surprised? Totally, I'm sure. Say, while you're at it, why don't you clean out the other houses in the neighborhood, too? Whoa! A newbie like me could never handle such a huge job. Oh, nonsense. You can do it. Sure you can. And besides... We'll help. That's my boy. Ah, oh, no. It's those crazy dumb bunnies from down the street. Ah, it's those crazy dumb bunnies from down the street. Ah, oh, no. Ah. Oh, tisk tisk. This burglar alarm definitely needs a good cleaning. Hey! Come back with my chimney! She runs a house cleaning business. And we're helping her. Oh, then you've got my sympathy, lassie. But didn't give up. I'm sure you'll do just fine. <laughs> Gosh, every bunny in this town is so, like, encouraging. I'll deal with you dumb bunnies later. <laughs> Okie dokie, we love to play cards. Well... I guess I should make a run for it, or, um, I mean, like, I'd better head back to the, um, cleaning plant. Melanie, stop! We've been thinking! Well, it had to happen sooner or later. All right, I admit it. I'm just no good. Oh, now, of course you're good. In fact, we think you're great. And we think you're ready for an even bigger job. See? The Bunnyville Gold Depository is the biggest building in town. And it's filled to the rafters with dusty old gold bars. <laughs> and so, as Felony and the Dumb Bunnies roll towards the Bunnyville Gold Depository, Reports of burglaries begin to roll in over Officer Moody's radio. Ah! This time I've really got you! <sighs> Vanilla cream. Calling all cars, there has been a burglary at the Cashmere's house. Their grand piano is missing. A 
piano? Fuck! It's those confounded ding blast and boon doglin doom bullets! <laughs> Who else? As if helping Felony clean out the entire neighborhood wasn't enough, now the Dumb Bunnies are going to help her clean out the Bunnyville Gold Depository. I, I, I can't. This place is like a fortress. You can do it, Felony. We believe in you, dear. And of course. We'll help. <laughs> That's my boy. <laughs> You bunnies rock! Bonus! Now I can buy those new jeans I've been looking at. <gasps> oh no! Now I've really done it! I told you I wasn't cut out for this kind of work! Look, baby! A play-by-number toy! I know Twinkle Twinkle! Some tune, baby. We should have turned her in hours ago. Okay. If you have to turn me in, that's cool. I don't want to get you bunnies into, like, trouble. Turn you in? Oh, well, heavens no. Well, we were talking about Prissy. It's way past her bedtime. Aw, fooey. Ah, uh, it's those crazy dumb bunnies. <laughs> Good thing your bed is in the back of the truck. Hmm. I wonder what all those flashing red lights behind us mean. I think I have to pull over to the right. Or maybe it's the left. Or is it stop? No, I think it's speed up. We should be heading home now. It's getting late. Yes, well, it's so late, it's early. And you've got a lot of cleaning to do. Oh, yeah, lots of cleaning. Um, totally. And so our ever-trustful dumb bunnies head for home. Where some very angry neighbors are still asking questions. Where's my dying chimney? Where's my parrot? Which only the dumb bunnies can answer. Don't worry, everybody. Your belongings are being taken care of by a very talented cat named Felony. You mean she cleaned us all out single-handed? Well, we helped her out just a little bit. We love to help. That's my boy. <laughs> Sounds like the uppities are home early. Where's our sofa? And our dining room set? And our china? And our prissy! This time, we're gonna run you dumb bunnies out of town for good. Like, hey! That's like no way to treat a dumb bunny. My sofa! Hi, Mom. And my prissy. Mwah! Mwah! Both of them perfectly clean and tidy. Say now, that there cat cleaned my chimney up something good. Look at my parrot's cage sparkle! Thanks to your mega-inspiring support and encouragement, I've decided to start my very own house cleaning business. May I have your card? Like, for sure. Is that totally surprising or what? <laughs> well, Felony, we do love surprises. But we're not surprised at all. We knew you could do it. Like, you bunnies are so totally awesome. Oh, could I get one? Yes, thanks to the dumb bunny's unending praise and encouragement, Felony Feline finally cleaned up her act. 
And not to mention most of Bunnyville. Well, what better way to greet the day than a scrumptious meatloaf supper for breakfast? Mmm, awesome loaf, Mama. Let me clear the table. Oh, no, no, dear. You've done enough cleaning for one day. Who could that be? Uh-oh. Who else? There they are! These doom bunnies and that slippery cat burglar are the ones that cleaned out the Bunnyville Gold Depository. Oh, yeah. Like, I totally forgot. Your gold's right over there. Very shiny. Felony is a cleaning professional. Good work, Miss Felony. This gold is so clean, it's probably doubled in value. Ah! Do you have a business card? I've got some army boots that could use a spit and polish. Officer Moody needs a spit and polish, too. No problemo. <sighs> oh, I give up. Oh, now, don't give up, Officer Moody. You can do it. Just believe in yourself. Well, all right. Is there any more meatloaf? I believe I'm famished. <laughs> <laughs>